Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Quinn coming at you live with my little homie Aiden. Middle of the Earth Podcast. Zero attitude from zero latitude. What's up, buddy? Mom is on. Uh, Mom didn't get a good night's sleep last night, so we're going to be uh, covering the baby for her this morning. We're on baby duty, and we're going to get right into it. Oh, see, Banger's dropped a little bit. Topia is still kind of chilling there. Got some divs, actually. So let's take a look at Coindesk, see what's going on, see if there's any news. See if there's anything worth talking about, huh? Okay, millions in crypto is crossing the Russia-China border daily. There, tether is king. Well, I believe it. It's nothing new that we didn't know was happening. I mean, Bitcoin, crypto in general, is a great tool, especially one that can be used to circumvent um, sanctions and eyes and rules that you know traditional investments have to adhere by so one of the good things that i will say about owning your own crypto is you own your own money so whereas other places you don't actually own your own money um money is as only as good as the people that trust and use it so you know that's kind of my opinion with regards to i don't really care about the nefarious actors in the play in in the space because i don't even you know yeah, I don't think Russia and China are very, like, uh, quality actors in the space. But I don't necessarily care about the negative. I mean, I know that people are saying that. I still see that as a positive. Yes, I know that they're, like, circumventing sanctions. That's not good. Yes. But it's mass adoption in the way of, like, countries using it as opposed to individuals or companies. Does that make sense? So, you know, um, that's kind of what I'm thinking about that. Do we have any good news from like the Twitter sphere? What's what's going on in the Twitter sphere? Let's take a look. Oh, excuse you. I'm tired, huh? Okay. Uh, let's see. Nothing notification wise. We really, you know, there's nothing much going on. Um, all right. Does it even matter at this point? Because trying to print more money to cover up for the inflation is menace. Can't keep even keep adding the zeros or changing the denomination. I think this is probably a, a comment on my. Yeah, this is a comment on my uh, on my Venezuela post. Somebody said, when I was born, 4.3 bolivars got you $1. Today, you will need 11.8 billion bolivars to get... A Wait a minute, that's a B. That's crazy. It was 250K in 2007, then 2 million last year. I do remember it being 2 million. I don't remember going up to a billion. Jesus. Something must have happened again since last year, I guess. Uh, Oh, you okay? Okay, well, you good? Yeah, yeah, he's good. He's good. Oh, yeah? Well, let them know what you're thinking, man. Let them know what the people think. Let's um, let's take a look at a couple other things real fast. Let me see if anybody's in here with me. I doubt it. It's early morning. I wasn't expecting anybody. I didn't tell anybody. I'm not posting it anywhere. I'm just making content with a little dude while I can because... What's up? You know? Um, Tronbet. What have the divs been like on Tronbet? Let's take a look. Were they big yesterday? Probably were. <laughs> yeah, I know. Justin Sun's pumping it. What do we do? I mean, if he pumps it, people play it, and that's just what's going down. So, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, eighteen sixty. That's not a. That's not a lot. I think I got a hundred yesterday. So. Okay, this is a smaller account. That's right. I've got a thousand on this one. I've got like seven thousand on the other one. So, um, you know, still not terrible, but the you know, it's definitely dropping. Um, the last one drop was one hundred and twenty-eight. Okay, I've cumulatively earned on this account six hundred. You know, it's uh, it's kind of like all right, it's it's not terrible. Let's see if we can slide into morning gold. What do you think? Can we get one? Hey, do you think we get lucky for one? Let's see, buddy. Get that morning gold in there. We want gold. We want gold, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Tell him we want gold. Yeah, I know. You say I want the gold because because Poppy tell me he say he gonna buy me ice cream. He give me gold. Oh, you too young for ice cream though. But I do want to give it to him so bad. They say I can't. Not allowed to give him ice cream yet. Forget that noise. I wish somebody would give me ice cream when I was a baby. that had been awesome. Okay, no gold. We tried, buddy. I know. We tried. We tried. <laughs> All right, let's take a look back. What's going on? Crypto news. Um, you know, multi-coin leads $20 million round for speed-focused Solana blockchain. 
you know, uh, I have no idea what that is. I can look into it later. I don't really want to do it like now. Okay, there we go. Crypto Trader XBTOI wins Bermuda license. Oh, you, are you farting on me? You just farted on me? You did. You farted on me. Uh, okay, okay, okay. See, this might be like another good one is like who can front run the license game? Who's going to be the one that gets like the real licenses that can get like a gaming license, for example, for Wink? If you guys can get a gaming license at a casino where you're set up, you might own part of the casino in a region that is going to like, I know I saw them say that Curacao and Costa Rica, but that's that does nothing for American users. I mean, Curacao, I don't know what the laws are in Curacao, actually. I know that Costa Rica, you're still, you're not good. That's why they moved to South Africa and that's why they were in the Caymans like the, all those poker site guys and yada 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 this is like back seven eight years ago nine years ago I remember this so who knows um, you know I think that'll be a good good uh, like kind of indicator for who's going to be the front runner what are you doing what are you doing can you stop moving around the defense department plans to develop blockchain cybersecurity shield Authenticates agents. Interagency communication to handle petabytes of data to predict attack. What's a petabyte? I don't know what that is. I've never even heard that term before. What is a petabyte? Okay. We aren't going to be able to do this for much longer, are we? 250 bytes or a million. Oh, shit. 2 to the 50th of bytes. It's a thousand terabytes or a million gigs. So a thousand terabytes. Okay. A thousand terabytes. Wow, that's a lot. What, what are you doing, huh? Are you just looking at stuff being cute? I wonder how many of these I can do with you here. Will you actually like put up with me doing? The lights bother you, maybe? Maybe the lights bother you. That's probably what bothers me too. Let's see if we can get you on camera better. Whoa. Oh, look at them. We're, we're matching Poppy and Aiden wearing white. Okay. No, he's pretty cute, dude. I know. I got a hot wife. She gave me a really cute baby. Oh, shit. Oh, well. All right, so. I do wish I could have, like, uh, thank you very much, uh, Apostoli. I appreciate that. Right now, we're just kind of messing around, seeing what's out there. I figure I'll just go live on a live stream and... Uh, let you guys basically get a rundown for how I start my day in the crypto sphere. I kind of go out there and just um, punts on decision in New York case against Bitfinex and Tether. I did see that, how they kind of put a 90 day delay on that. You know, anything that's newsworthy, I kind of like tend to, yeah, check out and make sure, you know, is looking into allegations that Bitfinex covered up the loss of nearly one billion in client funds by borrowing from Tether's reserves. Well, the case has been ongoing since April. Monday's hearing preliminary revolved around whether the New York AG had the authority to conduct its investigation. Let's see what they said. He needed more time to make a final decision on whether to dismiss the case entirely or rule the other way and reject Bitfinex and Tether's motion to dismiss. As such, a preliminary injunction he filed in May will be extended until the final ruling is made. I will extend the injunction if I dismiss the case, and obviously the injunction goes with it. If I don't dismiss the case, then the injunction will be extended. The idea is to keep things where they are until the decision is in motion, so the decision is to extend the stay and extend the junction, the injunction. That doesn't sound like it's too terrible for Bitfinex. Um, stepping back, the New, York's, uh, the New York Attorney General's office claims that Bitfinex covered up the loss of $850 million held by a payment processor which is, it's, it's not loss, it's seized, right? That money was seized and is in federal custody. That's what it is. By borrowing from Tether's reserves and is trying to obtain documents pertaining to the loan. The crypto exchange and stablecoin issuer, which share key executives oh. and ownership, maintain that Tether's decision to extend a $900 million line of credit to Bitfinex was negotiated by independent teams of lawyers and is not reflective of a cover-up. <laughs> Well, that sounds a little indicative, doesn't it? $900 million, $850 million in loss. Um, mm, we'll see. New York AG's office in turn argued that there is sufficient jurisdiction to investigate whether any harm was done to New York residents. Meant is to assist and expedite our investigation, as deliberate as it gets. Okay. 
They filed in April to uncover more information about the loss, the alleged cover-up, and the line of credit that Tether opened. Cohen initially asked the parties to negotiate a narrower injunction before ruling that Bitfinex and Tether can resume normal operations, though prohibiting any more fund transfers from Tether to Bitfinex. The respondents filed to dismiss their suit, claiming the Attorney General's office has no jurisdiction over the companies. Well, now we're getting into it, aren't we? Um, purporting to show that the New York-based entities, including Michael Novogratz, uh, Galax Digital, have used Bitfinex services as recently as early 2019. And a report from the block claims a New York resident was able to recently open an account. Well, you know what? I mean, are they using VPNs? Because that come. I mean, what are we what are we doing there? I mean, I guess it would require ID and KYC information. Okay, respondents signed up to do business with a virtual currency company in early 2019. That's as deliberate as it gets. Okay, Bitfinex's attorney contend that the New York entities are foreign eligible contract participants, ECPs, uh, which may have New York addresses but are not actually based in the Empire State. As such, New York regulators lack jurisdiction, they argue. Okay, so, you know, I, I when I read through this, this last part, the last three five paragraphs or whatever, you know, don't look good for Bitfinex. But when I read the first few paragraphs, it, it, it sounds like this judge is punting the football because he doesn't believe that the New York AG's office has got grounds to stand on to move forward. That's kind of how I understood that. I mean, it's it's him saying, if I extend the injunction, I will if I, if the, uh, I will extend the injunction. If I dismiss the case, then obviously the injunction goes with it. It's, it's kind of like... It's if the judge rules in favor of the New York AG's office, the injunction will likely be extended a further 90 days. The ruling or lack thereof means Bitfinex and Tether can continue operating this business as normal, but, but, but Tether cannot lend any more funds to Bitfinex. So they can't lend him any more money, buddy. They can't lend any more money to him. They can't print him any more bills or any more bailouts. But what they can do is they can keep running business. And guess what happens when they keep running business, bud? They make a lot of money still because there's people that that play and they use their services and they charge them fees. I know, those fees, we don't like those fees. That's why we're gonna make our own. We're gonna make our own exchange one day. We're gonna call it uh, uh, Crypto Kids Exchange. That way we're gonna teach kids how to trade on exchange and how to use the wallets and we're gonna teach them how to use private keys and everything. We're gonna do that. We're gonna make a whole channel out of it. Just crypto for kids. That's what it's gonna be. I just came up with that right now on camera. You like it? Me too, bud. Oh, his head's a little jerky. Whoops. Um, is crypto a full-time job for you? Yes, sir, it is. Yes, sir, it is. I was fortunate enough just to get back from um, my trip last week to San Francisco where I got to do the Tronfluencer event, go to uh, go to meet, you know, a lot of the big guys. I was hoping to, you know, obviously I wanted to meet Warren Buffett and get a picture with him and I wanted to ask a bunch of questions to him. That didn't happen. So we got a little quick session with Justin's son. That was a, you know, appreciated, enjoyable experience for sure. Um, family didn't get to go. I would have liked to bring the family. That would have been nice. But uh, we're in the States right now. We're going to be in Atlanta for the next little bit. You never know, man. Uh, Wifey might be pregnant with number two. I don't know. You know, she says she's not, but I feel like I kind of might have thrown a, a winner the other day. So we'll see, guys. Um, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, this. Hi. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to call it there for the morning, guys. Oh, did I just miss that gold? Look at that. I was chasing the golds, too. We were supposed to chase the gold. I know, I'm sorry. I saw it and I, I don't know. Here, we'll do a one more follow-up gold in case it comes back to visit. You never know. Sometimes they come back. That would have been cool, though. We could have got that gold on stream with you, Mr. Lucky. Oh, that would have been good. I know, I know, I know, I know. I, we're just going to watch one more. Let's just watch and see. What do you think it's going to happen? Are you hungry? You're like eating your hands over there. I'll get you some food in a minute. I'll get you a bottle. I'll get you a bottle, man. Nope. Gonna be blue, maybe? No, I hit the gray and stops. Okay. Well, we're gonna be done with that one. We won't. We won't waste any more of our coins there. Um, where'd you go? Can you see there? Nice. Okay, that works out pretty well. 
So that's all I got for the uh, the crypto news this morning. Kind of looks pretty pretty basic, but um, yeah, guys, I, I'll I'll check in later on tonight. I know that there's a couple of things going on this week. Justin Sun's birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday to you, man. Um, zero attitude from Zero Latitude, Middle of the Earth podcast, coming at you every morning. I think Aiden and I are going to be doing this more often in the morning times. So we're just going to start it up and uh, see how it goes. If it goes well, yeah, man. You, okay, you want to say hi, bye to the people? So you got stuff all over your face. That's because you've been drooling and you've been eating stuff and you just say, I'm, I'm cute, but I'm not. Oh, yeah, I am that cute. <laughs> you are that cute for sure. Okay. All right, handsome boy. I'll see you guys later, man. Peace.